I'm going to show you how you can make round ripple on a photo in flash using Macromedia Flash Professional 8. So the first step you have to click on file, import, import to stage an image on which you want round ripple. Like in this case I want this mountain ones. And uh, after, after getting it on your stage you can use free transform tool to resize it if you want like that. And then I have to right click on the image and convert into symbol and make sure it should be on graphic because we don't want this image to be kind of movie part just in graphic it will be better so I have to name it like background I hit the OK the next step is we have to click is control plus F8 or control function plus F8 if you are using any short keyboard then you have to uh, change and switch into movie clip from the graphic and name it anything like movie and then hit the OK button and now from the library you have to drag your background that's why we name it background to identify it very quickly then we have to insert another layer and then click the first frame and now I have to change this and then oval tool and then draw a small circle just like that and then we have to change the color like that and then have to draw a small circle but a little bit smaller and it should not be on the previous one because maybe it will merge so now from using selection tool from the tool you can select the only white circle and by use uh, and now you right click on the mouse and copy it and then you have to just press delete and delete this whole circle and the next step we have to again repaste it but not by control B but control shift and V so it will permanently be on the layer where we leave it uh, just like that using cursor key on your keyboard you can make it at the center like that maybe it will take a time to make it at the center like that now the next step you have to click anywhere else to just deselect everything and then you have to again select this white circle and and, uh, and press the delete button to delete the middle background or whatever middle middle portion now you can see everything so clearly like we have this round shape uh, and the border shape and in between uh, in the center there is nothing just like um, just a background so the next step we have to do is to insert another keyframe on the same layer like that and then we have to click at the middle way and then right click and create motion and below you have to click at the end and where your ripple is gonna end and then right click and insert a frame just not keyframe and then you have to again press the last frame last keyframe of your second layer and then using free transform tool you have to make it uh, a little bit bigger like this one and then you can see like how it's working right now then you have to right click on the layer and then hit the mask and then you have to click scene first like that and then insert another layer and then click the first frame and from the library you have to drag the movie at the center like that and then on the same layer you have to insert another keyframe like that and below you just have to insert frame like that and now if I click control plus enter then you can see uh, a single ripple in this but if you want more than one then you have to insert uh, another layer from here and then you have to insert a keyframe but just a couple of frame later on like that from the first one and then again you have to drag your movie you can leave anywhere else but it, it would be really better if you leave it at center or around the center like if you have done one at the center then a little bit away from then it will be work and now you have to leave it just a couple of frame after because it also need to take a same time it will work better if you do the same I am doing here right now then insert keyframe but the one thing is you have to really sure about is your background should be ended where your last ripple is so you have to make a little bit change like you have to select the last frame of your background and then again select it then it, you can see it is selected right now and then you have to drag it where your last fr ripple frame is ending 
then you have to leave it and everything will work if I click control press enter then you can see the two ripple is now being uh, zoom in zoom out kind of thing but it look really awesome so here it wraps up if you want any other thing from me or if you have any query you can just comment down I will reply to that or if you want me to do any other tutorial you can just type in comment box I will reply 100% to you so here it wraps up I will see you in another video see ya bye friends